The moon, our celestial neighbor, constantly changes its appearance in the night sky. We call these changes moon phases. They are a fascinating dance of light and shadow. This dance is caused by the moon's orbit around Earth and the sunlight reflecting off its surface. As the moon orbits our planet, the angle at which we see the sunlit portion changes. Sometimes we see a fully illuminated disk, other times only a sliver is visible. And then there are times when the moon seems to disappear entirely. Over approximately 29 and a half days, the moon cycles through eight distinct phases. Each phase offers a unique perspective on the interplay between the sun, earth and moon. Let's embark on a journey to explore the these eight phases and understand the celestial mechanics that create them. The new moon marks the beginning of the lunar cycle. During this phase, the moon is invisible to us. This is because the moon is positioned directly between the sun and earth. The side of the moon illuminated by the sun faces away from our planet. The new moon rises and sets with the sun. It blends into the daytime sky, making it difficult to observe. As the moon begins its orbit around Earth, a sliver of light emerges. This marks the waxing crescent moon phase. The term waxing means growing or increasing in illuminated area. During this phase, the moon is visible in the western sky after sunset. The crescent shape resembles a smile, a subtle indication of the moon's journey towards fullness. One week into the lunar cycle, we reach the first quarter moon. Half of the moon's disk appears illuminated, resembling a half circle. This phase gets its name because the moon has completed one quarter of its orbit around Earth. The first quarter moon rises around noon and sets around midnight. Section 5. Waxing Gibbous Moon. Between the first quarter and full moon, the illuminated portion continues to expand. This phase is called the waxing gibbous moon. The term gibbous refers to the moon's shape when more than half, but less than fully illuminated. The waxing gibbous moon appears larger with each passing night. It dominates the evening sky, rising before sunset and setting after midnight. Section 6, Full Moon. The full moon marks the midpoint of the lunar cycle. The entire face of the moon is illuminated by the sun. This creates a brilliant round orb in the night sky. During this phase, the moon is directly opposite the sun in the sky. It rises at sunset and sets at sunrise, providing illumination throughout the night. Section 7, Waning Gibbous Moon. After the full moon, the illuminated portion begins to decrease. This marks the waning gibbous moon phase. The term waning means shrinking or decreasing in illuminated area. The waning gibbous moon is visible in the early morning hours, setting after sunrise. Section 8, last quarter moon. Three weeks into the lunar cycle, we reach the last quarter moon. Like the first quarter moon, half of the moon's disk appears illuminated. However, the illuminated side is now the opposite half. The last quarter moon rises around midnight and sets around noon. Section 9, waning crescent moon. As the moon continues its orbit towards the new moon, the illuminated portion shrinks further. This phase is called the waning crescent moon. The waning crescent moon is visible just before sunrise, a final glimpse before the cycle begins anew. Section 10. Conclusion, the significance of moon phases. Understanding moon phases is essential for various reasons. For centuries, they have served as a natural calendar guiding agricultural practices and cultural celebrations. Observing moon phases allows us to connect with the cosmos and appreciate the intricate dance of celestial objects. It reminds us that we are part of a vast and interconnected universe where even seemingly small changes can have a profound impact on our planet